So this video is on one of the most basic things you can do to update your virtual pinball machine. It's a little bit different than adding a table from scratch. Um, in this example, I'm just going to be um, updating the table file uh, in order to run the most recent version. Okay. And I just did this very generically. I uh, just Googled new VPX tables and then that brought me to VP Universe and it's for a version of Xenon that looked like it was updated about 12 hours ago. I have no idea what the changes are in this. I'm just using this for an example. If you don't see the download this file button, it's because you need to be logged into VP Universe. And it looks like this was submitted by uh, Haunt Freaks, which is a, a pretty familiar name. But I click on download this file and it'll make me wait about 45 seconds. So I, I skipped that already. And I'm just going to go to my downloads folder. Now, I already extracted this, but when you do it the first time, you're going to go to properties and there's going to be a little checkbox right here for unblock. Put a check in the box and then click apply. And then right click, extract all, hit enter. I've already done it, so it's there. Now I've got the table file. So I'm going to switch to pinup popper and go to the games manager and type in xenon hit enter now there's only one result most of the file name matches but not all of it so I know that this is the 1980 version so I'm just gonna click this and drag it into where it says file name and it says confirm overwrite game file click yes I already backed it up so I'm gonna click no this time and it says file copied and renamed now in this case I've already gone into my my tables folder and load xenon now it's gonna complain about that it was saved with version 10.8 and I'm using 10.72 you don't have to update your virtual uh, visual pinball installation just click OK for now so that the table loads and then if the table already loaded you can hit Q twice to get out but I'm gonna I'm gonna click save and that should prevent it from popping that message up again later down the line which would be you know more inconvenient when you just have your buttons and stuff. But just to show that it works, I'm gonna launch it outside of Pinup Popper first. And there's gonna be some audio in a second. And I'm just gonna launch a ball. No big deal. Just wait for it to start up. Now I am using just my keyboard for this. I'm not on a pinball machine. Honestly, visually, this this looks better than the copy that I had already, but it's not like super duper night and day. But hit Q twice, and that's it. If all you're doing is updating the, the table file itself, like if you want the newest version of that table, you don't have to worry about other files like the, like the B to S file, which I guess I will show you uh, something real quick. Um, when you go to add it, if you were adding this table from scratch, you definitely need this direct B to S file because that's the back glass. If you just have the VPX, it's only going to show you the play field, but I'll get into that in another video.